for the first time after 2,500 years, the Israeli community is the largest Jewish community on, on earth at this point. We, we have passed that, uh, that, uh, that mark about a year or a couple of years ago, which means about 45% of, of, of all Jewry is residing in Israel. However, the estimates are that in about 30, 35 years, which is by 2050, there will be about 12 million Jews in Israel and about 6 million Jews outside of Israel, which is, on total, there will be about 18 million Jews worldwide. Now, that means that it will take about a century to recover from the Holocaust. Before the uh, World War II, there were about 18 million Jews worldwide, 10 million Jews of them were in Europe. And about a third of world Jewry just was wiped out. So by 2050, there will be about two-thirds of world Jewry in Israel. And, and the, the, the Jewish world is going to totally, fundamentally change just because of that, uh, of that uh, uh, mark. Now, just recently, there were uh, some, um, uh, some studies being published by the UN trying to estimate world population by the end of the 21st century. And the UN is estimating that within Israel there will be about 24 million people, which means the only nation in the 21st century that is going to triple its population is Israel. By all means, this is the major challenge of Israel in the 21st century, there are pros and cons to this trend. We are estimating that this is going to fundamentally change the, the nature of world Jewry, of Jewish identity, of even Jewish religion. Because after 2000 years, for the first time, the majority of Jewish people will, will reside in Israel. And by itself, it's another mindset. And this is what a lot of people are trying to figure out. What is it exactly that mindset? What we see at the beginning of the 21st century are the seeds of a very profound uh, confrontation between different views of what is it exactly a Jewish state in the 21st century, a democratic state with a large group of uh, minorities. There was no such a thing in our history. So we will have to figure out what is it that nature, that the characteristics of that nationality we call the Jewish nationality, is really that nationality. These are very clear trends at this point.